the time then uh, in, in the black country, let's say Birmingham area, yeah. you know, it was a really poor time, you Very. know. People had nothing, you nothing. know. Everybody had um, homes with toilets down the garden, you know, Robert Plant, John Bonham, Tony Iommi, Geezer, Ozzy, these are my friends. We all grew up in Birmingham, black country, and we had very proud parents that bought our instruments for us and when we were boys and we grew up to be artists you know and we're very proud of our you know background yeah. none of us were grew up in uh, rich families we we grew up uh, in working class northern british homes so we're a very tight family that grounded that was kind of a foundation for the whole rock scene put it that way yeah when i think of the black country on birmingham i think of the birthplace of british hard rock being half of led zeppelin and sabbath and judas priest and uh, trapeze i see it as the industrial sounding like detroit in america you know it's it's sort of got a sound of its own and that's why black country has the sound of the black country because of Bonham and Hughes I think it's got that undeniable and this is why I wanted to call the band black country and when I came in with the idea of our sound being very black country and I said well you know it's maybe we should think about calling ourselves black country so so one could say uh, like waltz is coming from Vienna but yes. it's now worldwide yes. as well as uh, black country sound is now perfect. known as hard rock perfect analogy perfect is is there some black country musicians veterans no, oh, meeting oh, oh. once no, a year but, but i can say this to you that I'm very good friends with Rob Halford and I'm very good friends with Robert and, and, and of course, Jason. Um, I see Robert Plant quite a lot. Um, and I'm very dear, dear with t Tony Iommi and Giza Butler is my neighbor in, in Los Angeles. So, you know, I, um, I love these guys. Rock music always was um, a positive revolution thing, you know. Uh, but when you look at the world nowadays, um, does that still affect your writing? It does, you know. And I, I, I do address political situations sometimes, and I do address poverty and and and, and child abuse and. And you know, I think it's important as writers and as an artists to to be involved with with what's going on in, globally, and and to help uh, you know such great artists, friends of mine that have done this throughout the last few decades. And it's good to be part of that organization. So, whenever I can be part of any charity to raise the awareness to help other people, I'll gladly donate my time. Hi, this is Glenn Hughes on Mulat Shack, the only TV you need. Mulat Shack!